Hey guys, hey, what are you wearing today? You wearing an oud and natar uh, perfume today? Uh, I'd like to know in the comments today. Um, I have on a Calacasi, I think 80 year aged, uh, real powerhouse uh, oud on me right now. Um, we are doing a uh, review today of Phil Oud Virgin uh, Sumatra. So, um, yeah, another Phil Oud today, uh, going through the house now, uh, there and, and picking them up. Thanks for coming to the channel. Finally have another Oud, uh, review for you guys. You guys know that's my passion. Um, one of my biggest passions in this, uh, fragrance journey is discovering what this oil is and does for your soul, does for your mind. Uh, it, it's just been an amazing thing. Thanks for uh, joining the channel. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, stay tuned if you haven't. Subscribe below. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Um, I did a little uh, cheese, Luis. Thank goodness that vial was sealed. That's a forty dollar drop right there. Um, the vial sealed. Don't worry. So that's, that's um, come on there. That's what you get for 40 bucks uh, from the Phil Oud website. Um, look at that lovely light golden juice. Don't let the color fool you. It did me. Uh, honey consistency on this. Very light, just luscious like honey drip. Like I said, I got a GoPro of the drop on my skin. I actually dropped it as I didn't... Um, Sometimes I do it too. All right, guys, first time I'm trying this out. Recording over this uh, video. Here's me. Watch this drop come out. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this from a vial. It was kind of on, on the spot. I My vials are pretty, pretty precious to me. And um, you can see that drop. It is the honey that I was talking about that I remember does barely runs, runs like honey. I mean, when the vial is that small, it's seriously hard to put a drop like that on. Um, especially when it smells so, so good from the vial itself. A rare turnaround. I didn't even know what everything was gonna be like. Felt out of control in the background, but there you guys go. <sighs> Cheers. Hope this works out because I didn't. Um, Sometimes I do a toothpick, but I'm like, how much uh, oud is that toothpick soaking up? <laughs> That's just my mind, the way it works. <laughs> so um, I, I, I carefully, patiently waited for the drop to get down, then finally turned the GoPro on and had it ready so I didn't have to wait forever for the drop on that. Anyways, Phil Oud's Virgin uh, Sumatra Island, aptly named um, from the bottle. From the bottle, I mean, people ask me about this help in depression and, and different things. And, and one thing, I mean, if you guys are into it, just, just buy the bottles. And um, all you have to do, and I think these last for a lifetime and get better, That that's it. And you just get, I, I mean, I'll open and smell these all day. It is addicting. It is, I, I can't, until you smell it and, and do it, there's no explaining it. You guys that are tuning in, finding the channel through Oud, you already know. And now we're just uh, trying to find the, the different Ouds, the different uh, ones um, to wear and, and have. And that's why what I'm trying to do with my different notes, because they are so different. And your distillers make them so different and add their own touches to the same. You can give, give the same chips to different, two different distillers. The end oil will be two different compositions. Uh, just by the way they pulled the oil from the wood. Amazing. This, this journey is amazing. Um, you guys know. <laughs> I already have people commenting and stuff on IG. Well, it's not oud. I'm like, it's okay. I, I, I'll do fragrances without oud. But when you when we talk oud, I mean, that's where we're at. Um, it'll always be a focus of this channel. And I'll make it as easy and accessible for you guys to find the oud videos, the oud heads that I have here like me and myself to, to, to get those to stay out in between of the, the all the fragrance uh, uh, stuff that that I have going on. I just can't get my hands on enough oud 
to make a living out of it or I would. I, would, I totally would in the U.S. It's just, I just can't. Um, or don't know how, I guess. Um, okay, let's get into this. Phil Oods. Uh, this is very similar to um, Infinity. Very, very similar. Um, so... The aquatic metallic, I could take both vials, put them up to my nose, and that's there. It is my favorite note and nude. This metallic aquatic scent, medicinal scent that comes off the top. That's why I can open. And I mean, putting a drop out of this was tough for this review because I was like, oh man. But as you can see, there's still a lot left. But the, again, that's maybe I'll go buy more. I mean, I, I just don't. Can't use it for my perfumery and whatnot. I am so glad I own this uh, uh, and, and can uh, have the pleasure of smelling it. They're pricey, pricey, pricey. Um, okay, let's get into this one. This 40 bucks for a uh, 0.02. Um, and you could, uh, in theory, that's probably, let's say over 10 warnings, easy. And, and that's enough. So just, I mean, it's like two bucks a wearing kind of thing. Um, on my other reviews, this would be probably less than 10 wearings. I, I use them pretty heavy on my other ones. This one I didn't because of, of how small it was. And that might play in my longevity score, but I, I mean, some people only put drops of oud down uh, for how they use oud. Quantum metallic note off the top. Um, that signature fill oud DNA I'm getting used to. That, He's putting it in there somehow. Um, just, I love it. I, I love it with that medicinal oud on the bottom of it. Smell. Last night, I mean, it burns off your skin in about an hour and then it becomes oud. And, and it's like the perfect, most perfect top note ever for me kind of thing. And then that's what this one has. And then it uh, goes right into uh, leather. Starts to show up on this one. And... Um, yeah, uh, this one does get a little more uh, sweet and uh, amber oriental than Infinity did on the dry down. But the, the middle leather that I talked about, uh, it definitely turns into a leather as the aquatic metallic wear off into your skin uh, and absorb in your, in your skin. Um, about 60 minutes, the, the, the whole aquatic metallic thing lasts for me. And then you're into the leather dry down, I'd say for another 90 minutes. And then it um, fades into uh, um, the, the, the sweetness shows up on, the, on the, the final end for me. Just just very faintly off my skin it does. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd almost say it's only a two level oud, but with a gradual... Uh, after the quark metallic leave a gradual uh, die down of the leather and whatnot. Uh, that's what I have for this one. Very similar to Infinity um, in Virgin Sumatra. There's, I think they're the same price. So uh, if one run, I, I keep repeating myself because one runs out, you can check out the other one, sample other one. Um, as of now, I believe they're both available. So the, the this isn't really a score, but the, um, the notes, uh, Scoring notes I have for this, it's called that. Um, Adam Alex on this, one out of five. Earthiness out of this, one out of five. Floral, three out of five. Aquatic, five out of five. Spices, 2.5 out of five. Resins, old resins, two out of five. Uh, smoky, one out of five. Woods, one out of five. Leather, four out of five. Incense, one out of five. The addictiveness on this, I mean, I, it's just one of those things that, which ones are you gonna buy? All right, let's see if we can make this through, guys. This battery's low too, my other battery died. Addictiveness, 8.5 out of 10. Projection of CI, seven out of 10. Longevity, four out of 10. Very similar to Infinity. Uh, that's what I have uh, for this. Uh, definitely try sample, samples are available. I love having you guys part of the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what oud you guys are trying, uh, what other companies to try. Uh, give me some feedback. I want to know you, you guys. Know you guys are watching. 
uh, some of your favorite oods to wear. Uh, peace out, guys, and be blessed. All right, guys, um, I already had this uh, written up for the, the workout because um, uh, I'm using this one sparingly. I already showed you guys. Phil Oud, Virgin Sumatra Island, Aquatic Metallic off the top. As soon as you get this in high heat, that Aquatic Metallic wears off even sooner as it is in the workout. Uh, it turns into mostly a leather band fragrance. You guys know what that is all about. Uh, perfect leather scent, manly scent. Uh, I mean, if women, you're into leather too. This is the most natural leather scent off your skin you can get um, as you work out. High heat situation, you guys that live in high temperature areas, year-round, humid climates. Uh, it doesn't last as long. This this is definitely not a long-lasting nude. Um, but if that doesn't matter to you, it's one of the most perfect workout fragrances there is. This, I mean, that aquatic metallic just gets you going, starting that workout, starting your day, and then turn into just the, the best leather smell ever. I mean, what, what better smell uh, for that, for a workout? Um, I, I did it on a day I was doing a 5K, and yeah, every time I, I checked my uh, mileage and whatnot, I'd, I'd smell my wrist, and it, it's just one of those things, keep you going, that gives it an extra mental push, um, just uh, plays in perfect. Anyways, that's what I have for the high heat situations. Um, hope you guys are loving the oods. Thanks for checking me out. Bonus footage. Take care, guys. Bye.